What's up guys, Rampage here again bringing you today's question of the day. So for today's question I'm going to be asking you guys, what is your favorite battle facility from either the Battle of Frontiers in 3rd gen or 4th gen? Now for me, I'm just going to have to say that my favorite battle facility was the classic battle tower in 4th gen, even though I did like the battle hall that was also in 4th gen. Um, you know, there were other cool ones like the Battle Pike, Battle Castle. I didn't like the Battle Factory at all because they always gave me stupid Pokemon, but yeah, that's whatever. But yeah, my favorite was the Battle Tower. Leave your answers in the comments below and let's get started with the battle. Black and white. A lot of good battles. A lot of good memories. Yeah. So anyway, this is going to be my last black and white upload because I've already started battling on black and white too. And I've, in fact, I've already gotten the battle recorded on black and white too so that will probably be narrated right after this video and then uploaded pretty soon but anyway this is my last black and white battle I'm using a rain team this is OU and my opponents also using a rain team so that's whatever um and what do I have to say okay the only thing I'm really threatened about on his team is the Gyarados because Gyarados in the rain could be a real problem Dragonite could be annoying but I'm pretty sure it's going to be some type of Rain abusing Dragonite with Hurricane and maybe Thunder, so I'm not too worried about that if I can just use my um, Ferrothorn correctly. So anyway, let's just get started with this battle. I'm going to lead off with my Ferrothorn thinking he's just going to lead off with his Politoed to get up the rain, but he's not, and I'm going to switch out because I don't want to get my rocks up knowing that he has his Fortress out and he could just wrap his spin those away at any time. I'm going to go out into my Politoed, get the rain going, and then I can also hit him with a Scald, hopefully get a burn or something. I don't get the burn and it doesn't do that much meaning that this fortress is most likely very specially defensive and he's going to go for the rocks and then his toxic spikes. I'm not worried about the toxic spikes though because there's only one guy on my team that's weak to those being my polytoad because this Vaporeon has hydration and I have two steel types and two flying types so I'm not worried about the poison or the toxic spikes at all. And now I'm out with my Vaporeon I'm just going to go for the surf and <laughs> hydration tank Vaporeon. Modest surfs in the rain do crap tons to a lot of things in OU. He's going to bring out his Dragonite now after I take out the Fortress with a surf, and he's going to go for the Hurricane. <laughs> hurricane? No, Hurricane hit me down real low. I see that he has Life Orb, which is a mistake on his part because now he's not in multi scale anymore, and this Ice Beam will definitely take him out. Luckily, I did live the, um, the, what's that move called? The Hurricane, but I can't switch out now because if I do, Stealth Rocks will kill me as I come back in. He's going to go out to his Jirachi, and he's going to switch out into his Gashadon, trying to bait me to go for the Surf. I was actually trying to go for the Rest, but I do hit myself in Confusion, so that's unfortunate for me. Unfortunate for him as well, I guess. But it would have been smarter for him to just take out my Vaporeon with his Jirachi, because later on, you'll see that he has Thunder. Reigns up, so he could have just hit the Thunder and then taken out my Vaporeon easily. So that was kind of stupid. Well, it wasn't stupid, but it wasn't necessary. Anyway, I'm going to go out to my Scissor, go for the U-turn just to see what type of Gastro this is. Yeah, just to see what type of Gastro... Oh my gosh, I can't talk. Just to see what type of Gastro this is, I see that it did about half, so I'm thinking that this thing is more defensive because that was a CB Scissor. And yeah, so now I'm going to go out into... Well, I'm going to... I U-turned out into my Ferrothorn, and I'm going to scare him out with the Power Whip and go for the Leech Seed as he goes out into his Jirachi, so that's nice. And I don't think this Jirachi could really do much to my Ferrothorn because... Since it's in the rain, it's not going to be carrying the fire punch, most likely. And he's just going to go for the thunder paralyze me. Don't really care about that because I'm slow as heck anyway. And I don't have to worry about that, like I just said. And I have the leech seed going for me. So this Jirachi, it's annoying because it's hard to take out because I lost my Vaporeon. But it's not too big of a problem for me. Anyway, he's going to switch out into his Gyarados. I'm just going to go for the Rocks. Rocks are the most important move in the game. His Fortress is gone, so he can't rapid spin him away. Plus, he does have this Gyarados, so Rocks are a good move to go for. And now I'm going to go out into my Politoed because I don't want this thing to set up. Well, it's going to set up, but I don't want this thing to stay in for the rest of the battle set up on me. So I'm just going to go for the Parasong. That'll eventually scare him out. <clears throat> And he's actually going to go for the Waterfall. I see I see Sub and Waterfall, so I'm thinking that his set is most likely Waterfall, Sub, Dragon Dance, and Taunt or Bounce. I'm not really sure. But anyway, I'm going to go for the Parasong. So now this Gyarados won't be in for ever, pretty much. This Gyarados is going to have to switch out eventually. Now I'm going to go out into my Ferrothorn because Ferrothorn pretty much walls this Gyarados. Waterfalls won't be doing too much to me. If he wants to go for the Bounce, well, that's good because... He's going to be wasting his own turns of staying in because of Parasong. So anyway, 
his pair song is now two he's just going to keep going for the waterfall i don't really see this as beneficial to him I, if it were me i would have been switched out because i can't do anything to a ferrothorn and that's why i went for the leech seed i thought he would switch out because it's not he i'm like he's doing damage to me with the waterfall i mean yeah brain boosted waterfalls but they're not you know doing a significant amount to where he's getting a benefit from it so i thought he would have been switched out he's actually gonna go out into his polytoad now i'm pretty sure this thing doesn't have focus blasting as though it never went for it before he's gonna go for the skull don't know why um i guess he's just leaving his polytoad in his death bother maybe or he predicted a switch not sure but anyway i'm just gonna get parahex i believe and he's gonna hit me with the skull and now i'm gonna go for the leech seed because residual damage is always good and yeah, I can get HP back and all that fun stuff. I really, I'm just like not even into this battle right now, if you can't tell already. But I'm sorry about that. I'm mean, like, this is my last black and white battle. I'm not even as enthusiastic as I could be. So anyway, let me try and fix that. So I believe I get Parahax right here. But the Leech Seed's going for me. So I'm not too worried about it because I am getting HP back. And now it's going to go for the Ice Beam. Since I'm paralyzed, it's not, it's good. It's good. To, oh my gosh, I'm stuttering now. First, I'm unenthusiastic and now I'm stuttering. It's a good thing I'm paralyzed because one, he can't get the scald burns on me, and two, he can't freeze me with ice beam. So, the parahax isn't that bad, and then the leech seed is pretty much negating all his damage. So, this polytoad isn't a threat to me at all. Now he's going to reveal the parasong. He could have been one for that before, and he just now reveals it right when his polytoad dies. I mean, like I am going to have to switch out my feral thorn now because of it, but he should have been one for that in my opinion. Now he's going to go out into his Jirachi. I'm going to switch out now. I can't do anything to this Jirachi. And I'm just going to go out into my Gliscor. Because I'm pretty sure he can't really hurt my Gliscor. I'm hoping that he can't hurt my Gliscor. And as I switched out, he's going to go for the sub. And he reveals that he has Water Pulse. So that's also not good for me. Because that's a rain boosted Water Pulse. It's not doing as much as I thought it would. But it still did a nice chunk. And that's not very good for me at all. Because... I kind of need this Gliscor to take out the Jirachi because Jirachi is a pain to me right now. But right here, he makes a bad play. Well, I don't know if it was a bad play or not, but he's going to go for the Calm Mind and not set up a sub or take me out, which might be crucial because now I hit his Jirachi down real low to the point where he can't set up a sub anymore and I can just pretty much go out in the Mence or Scizor and just take this thing out. So that is a good thing that this Jirachi is out of the way. Well, it's not out of the way just yet because I haven't taken it out yet, but... I pretty much got this Jirachi under control. I can deal with this thing easily. I can just go out in the Sizzler, go for the Bullet Punch, take out the Jirachi. Now, that thing's not a problem anymore. And I believe all he has left is Gyarados and his Gastrodon, which I'm not worried about. Because Gastrodon, I have my Ferrothorn with Power Whip and Gyarados. If he decides to switch out Gastrodon and bring in his Gyarados, you know, there's the Stealth Rocks damage and then Power Whip damage. And then I can just go out into something appropriate to deal, on with, to deal with the Gyarados. So anyway, he's going to go for the recover as I switch out, and now he's going to go for the Earth Power. That shouldn't be doing too much to me because I am a Pharaoh Thorn, especially defensive. Now I'm going to go for the Leech Seed, thinking that he might switch out into his Gyarados, trying to preserve his Gastrodon, but he doesn't. He just stays in. He wants his Gastrodon to be Death Bother, and he pretty much has himself in a bad position because his last two guys really can't deal with Pharaoh Thorn at all. He's just going to hit me down with a couple of Earth Powers, and he did get a special defense drop, so... Well... That didn't really matter at all because the Earth Power still aren't doing much to me. He has the one berry that weakens grass. I wasn't paying attention, so I forget what it's called. But that's weird because you usually don't see Gastros with that. Anyway, I'm going to go out in the Scissor. I forget exactly why I went out in the Scissor. I was thinking that he might recover. I can go for the U-turn and go out into um, Mets or something. I think. I'm not sure. I forget why I went out in the Scissor, actually. But nonetheless, he's going to die to the Leech Seed damage, and now he's going to bring out his Gyarados. This is his last guy. I'm not worried about it. As long as he doesn't get up more than one Dragon Dance, I'm pretty much in the clear. And as long as I can prevent him from setting up subs, I'm in the clear. Anyway, I'm just going to go for the U-turn, and he did go for a Dragon Dance, but that's pretty much game because I can just U-turn out into my Mets. I'm Scarfed, and I can just take him out with the Outrage. So, that's going to be the game. Um, who is this against? This is a battle against before 482. I forgot to mention that at the, at the beginning of the battle. But yeah, I found it all for Smogon. It was a good battle. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please push that like button. Also, leave a comment. I do enjoy your comments. And I will see you guys in the near future. I will see you guys. And the next time I see you guys, it's going to be a black and white 2 battle. So look forward to that. 
And also, I've been uploading a lot of my Let's Play parts because I want to get that Let's Play done with soon because when Black and White 2 comes out in English, I do plan on doing a Let's Play of that. Anyway, I guess I'll see you guys in the near future. I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Rampage here, signing out.